All right, this is Randy Thompson coming to you live. We have Trudy Adams and Miss Melody, and we're doing our warm-up trot right now. And what Trudy's doing is she's asking Melody to stay more connected in her warm-up trot because they're at the beginning of staying more connected in all of their work, which is basically still new. You know, they're still under, you know, uh, they're still under about 15 sessions that they've done to work at the trot and the walk where they're actually being coached and then the work they do on the side. Our goal is to get Melody more connected and relaxed between Trudy's rein and leg. And this is new for her. She's going from like a training level balance into a, I mean a green horse balance into a training level type of connection. So what Trudy's saying is that uh, she tried to bring her back. She felt kind of a surge forward and this is normal. She's, so what Trudy's feeling is this is, she's starting to feel when Melody goes on the forehand, which she did for the first four years we worked on her. Melody had a lot of issues. She's a nervous, hot, complicated horse. Doesn't look like it. And this is all the work that Trudy's done to make her look like this. She looks pretty relaxed. No drugs. No drugs. That's right. Good. Get her to soften her jaw. No light drugs. Soften her jaw. Soften her jaw more on the outside and push her against it with your inside rein and leg now, 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 now. So she's using her inside rein and leg as Melody's inside hind leg is leaving the ground. Now, 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 now. Good, good, good. That's it. Now add a spiral. Remember to look between her ears to make sure you have the right bend. That's it, check your bend by looking in between their ears and the back end, you can feel if that's in the right place by doing a leg yield until she picks up your outside seat bone. As the riders get more advanced, they feel it on the inside, but for whatever reason, I've found that riders really get the feeling if a horse is straight from behind by noticing if the horse is picking up their outside seat bone, which is when the rider's able to keep the horse against the outside rein and leg. Yep, no reason to punish anything, so she just said she wasn't going to punish it, but you'll notice we don't do a lot of punishing. I don't punish the rider, and... Right. So she's saying, you know, she could have gassed her right up into a trot from the walk, but she did the right approach. This is a very non-traumatic way of training. The horses make a lot of mistakes, and we just allow it to happen, because they're supposed to be doing that right now, because this is a whole different way of... Annie's our Melody has never been ridden this way, so everything's new to her, and it's like us learning. It's easier to learn when we're encouraged and praised instead of being punished and made fun of. That's very nice. I like how you're adding the outside rein and leg differently now. Look at you. Yes. So she's saying she's trying to stop her from locking up, which was a big tendency. It's hard for any horse. hard for any horse to do that really really little circle so so Trudy was saying it's hard for her to do that little circle it's hard for any horse to do that circle and stay connected we just use the circles as a you notice we do a lot of changes of exercises and the reason is is it's more interesting to the horse and to the rider so we won't repeat the same thing over and over and over again you can see Trudy just automatically now starts changing what she's doing good good so Harder, harder to the left is what Trudy says because like most horses that's where she braces. Again when I hear Trudy saying this and I know she can hear me now because you know I've got her on the headset but what you know when the horse braces it's really the rider holding. Can't lie about you now. Can't lie about you now that's right because she can hear everything that I'm saying not that I've ever lied about her but the truth is if a horse is bracing it's really the rider holding the rein too long and this could be a fraction of a second that's how fast it happens so if you feel your horse locking up in the reins don't feel that you're pulling on the reins or anything it could be that you're just holding a fraction of a second too long and that's normal a normal part of the process as you and your horse learn how to connect more and stay balanced between the rein aids and the leg, leg aids First we do it from front to back, back to front, excuse me, and then from side to side. So Trudy's actually working on keeping me Melody balanced front to back and side to side. Very nice. And you'll see she's nice and relaxed. Melody is. Well, so is Trudy. Trudy's position looks pretty solid here. You'll see you don't see a lot of movement or anything. 
good. And sometimes she goes into a little bit of a two point, but Trudy was a hunter rider for years, so it's easier to do. And the reality is, is when I'm on a horse that's relearning something or that I have to teach to balance differently, there are many times that I'll go up into a half seat just because it's easier, especially at the canter. And it gives the horse time to relax its back without a rider on it. Good, soften her on the outside rein and leg. Good. Now you're going to add leg yields, actual leg yields, like you can go to the quarter line or whatever, stay off the outside rail, and just do four steps leg yield into straight. Good, good. Look where you want her to go. Good. She needs to be more supple on the outside rein. So when I say she needs to be more supple is that the, there should be a rainbow on her neck, and when Trudy touches the rein, even with the leg yield, Melody should respond by releasing her neck instead of holding or bracing against it lightly. And she's not bracing tightly. It's just a change in the leg yields now where we want her to stay rounder. Yep, ask her to drop her nose. That's it, more nose. Praise her, good, good. You feel it puts her different under your seat, doesn't it? So now whenever you do your leg yields, you're gonna just focus on you can start a leg yield like you start a circle and start a leg yield from that and go a little bit sideways and just there, feel the difference? Keep her active. How does that leg yield feel different? Yes, so this is a different kind of leg yield because again, Melody's moving up the levels of training and now we're asking her to stay more connected in the leg yield by keeping her nose, for lack of a better word, down. It's part of a frame we create between the rider's legs and reins. Good, Adjust, soften her on the outside rein so you can create a wall to push her against with your inside rein and leg. Good, praise her a lot, keep her active. Good. And you can't hear it, but Trudy's praising her all the time out there. Good, supple her more. Think leg yield out of that. Keep that same step. Look, she's staying softer now. So this is a big change. It makes it easier out of the circle, she said. So the leg yield out of the circle is making it easier for Trudy to be I'll able practice, to... I'll practice it more out of my half turns. And, yeah. So now she, what she's saying is she's going to practice the leg yield feeling more out of the half turns because it really gives the rider the feeling of the horse picking up their outside seat bone and staying soft on the aids. Good. It shows. Um, but I'm well and she's saying she's been working on this. So she's, she's, what's Trudy saying here is that now she asked her to halt and she's asking her to stay soft. She's trying to keep her soft as she walks up. It was much better, yes. So she said it was better there. And it just takes time because Melody is not used to staying on the aids, walking from a halt or anything. But you'll see she's figuring it out. And like anything else, it just takes time to teach them something different because we can't speak English to them. It's interspecies communication. And so this is just another level of communication. That's right. So what Trudy's saying here is that now her aids, compared to even last year, are much subtler. She's quieter. She's softer. Melody's listening at a different level. Again, it's taken us at least four years to get Melody to this point. So those of you who are watching this and have horses that are hot, nervous, and complicated, like Melody really is, you'd never think about, think she is the way she's moving, you know, right now. The reality is she, she's a very complicated horse. So it does take time, but it can be done with most horses. Again, you can watch the history of Trudy and Miss Melody by going to the playlist section of this YouTube channel, Randy Thompson Live, and look under Melody and Trudy, and you can see where they were from as far back as four years ago and what we've done to get them to this point. There was one at well, some point within the, like the last year it's really changed but in the beginning she couldn't hold the canter in fact she paced at the walk the trot was like a racehorse the canter was just dangerous for a couple years so this is what Trudy's been able to do by just taking her time and working with the training process again this is Randy Thompson live subscribe to our YouTube channel